Pulmonary arteriovenous malformation, PAVM, is a rare condition where abnormal connections between pulmonary arteries and veins in the lungs cause blood to bypass the capillary network. In this video, we will discuss PAVM's complexities, clinical signs, diagnosis, treatment, complications, and new approaches. Let's start with an overview of PAVM's impact on pulmonary health. PAVM is a rare vascular abnormality affecting the lungs, characterized by the presence of abnormal communications between the pulmonary arteries and pulmonary veins. These abnormal connections, known as fistulas, allow blood to bypass the normal capillary network, resulting in direct arterial venous shunting. The presence of PAVMs can lead to hypoxemia, paradoxical embolism, and various other complications. Understanding the underlying factors contributing to the development of PAVM is essential for accurate diagnosis and effective management. PAVM can be associated with several developmental abnormalities, including hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, HHT, also known as Osler-Weber-Rendu syndrome. HHT is an autosomal dominant disorder characterized by abnormal blood vessel formation throughout the body. Mutations in genes such as endoglin and ALK1 have been implicated in HHT-associated PAVMs. Additionally, rare hereditary disorders like capillary malformation arteriovenous malformation, CMAVM, syndrome and some forms of pulmonary hypertension may also have PAVMs as a component. It is crucial to identify these hereditary factors in patients with PAVM to guide genetic counseling and screening for family members. To understand the hemodynamic changes associated with PAVM, a comprehensive understanding of the anatomy of the pulmonary vasculature is vital. The pulmonary circulatory system consists of pulmonary arteries, which carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs, and pulmonary veins, which transport oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. The intricate network of blood vessels within the lungs facilitates gas exchange. PAVMs disrupt this normal circulation, leading to various physiological consequences. In normal pulmonary circulation, blood flows through the pulmonary arteries, facilitating gas exchange in the capillary network. However, in PAVMs, the abnormal connections between the pulmonary arteries and veins create a right-to-left shunt. This shunting allows deoxygenated blood from the arteries to bypass the pulmonary capillaries and mix with oxygenated blood in the pulmonary veins. Consequently, oxygen saturation levels are decreased, leading to hypoxemia. The clinical manifestations of PAVMs can vary widely, ranging from asymptomatic to severe. Patients may present with dyspnea, cyanosis, exercise intolerance, clubbing, and recurrent paradoxical embolism, leading to conditions such as stroke or brain abscess. Auscultation may reveal a characteristic continuous murmur known as a brute. It is essential to recognize these clinical signs to initiate appropriate investigations and management strategies. The diagnosis of PAVMs involves a combination of clinical evaluation, imaging, and screening techniques. Chest X-ray may provide initial clues, such as visible vessels or parenchymal abnormalities. However, imaging modalities like contrast-enhanced computed tomography, CT, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and angiography are more sensitive and specific for detecting PAVMs. Additionally, bubble contrast echocardiography is performed to confirm the presence of right-to-left shunting in suspected PAVM cases. Various classification and grading systems have been developed to assess the severity and complexity of PAVMs. The Curacao criteria are often used to diagnose HHT, which includes the presence of at least three of four clinical criteria. Additionally, several scoring systems, such as the hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, HHT, score and the pulmonary arteriovenous malformation grading scale, PAGS, aid in stratifying patients based on the size, number, and anatomical location of the PAVMs. PAVMs can be associated with numerous complications, including the risk of paradoxical embolism. The abnormal shunting of blood can lead to the formation of emboli, which bypass the pulmonary circulation and enter the systemic circulation, potentially causing strokes, brain abscesses, or other systemic complications. Additionally, PAVMs can contribute to the development of pulmonary hypertension, right heart dysfunction, and infective endocarditis. The management of PAVMs primarily focuses on preventing complications and improving the oxygenation status. Embolization techniques, including transcatheter embolization or coil placement, are the gold standard treatment for PAVMs. Embolic materials, such as coils or vascular plugs, are inserted into the abnormal vessels, causing occlusion and redirecting blood flow through the normal pulmonary capillaries. The choice of embolization technique depends on the size, location, and complexity of the PAVMs. After successful embolization, Patients with PAVMs require close monitoring to assess treatment efficacy and detect potential complications or recurrence. Regular follow-ups, including imaging studies and pulmonary function tests, are essential to ensure optimal patient outcomes. 
genetic counseling and screening are recommended to identify hereditary factors and provide appropriate support and guidance to patients and their families. Pregnancy presents unique challenges in the management of problems, as physiological changes increase the risk of complications. Pregnant women with large or complex problems may experience worsening hypoxemia and an increased risk of paradoxical embolism. Close monitoring and interdisciplinary collaboration between pulmonologists, obstetricians, and neonatologists are vital to ensure the well-being of both the mother and the fetus. Several emerging therapies and innovations are being explored to improve the management of problems. These include the use of novel embolic materials, minimally invasive techniques, targeted therapies, and genetic interventions. Ongoing research aims to enhance treatment outcomes, reduce procedural risks, and develop personalized approaches for patients with problems. In conclusion, correctly diagnosing and effectively managing pulmonary arteriovenous malformation PAVM, is crucial. This video overviewed key aspects of PUVMS, including their development, hereditary factors, pulmonary vasculature anatomy, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and complications. Advances in imaging, classification, and embolization have improved management, but more research is needed for optimal outcomes and potential therapies.